finally made it to the lake. This backpack has been through a lot today. So I have been testing out today the Low Pro BP350 all weather backpack. Um, this has been a phenomenal pack. It has been very comfortable for me to wear all day. And uh, I just wanna talk about some of my favorite features that I found with this backpack. I love just the way it looks. I, I can't stress that enough. But the other thing is that this is a small pack. I would put this in the category for me as like a day pack. And here's what I love about it. It's not too big. It'll carry everything I need to for a hike like today where I'm just heading up to this mountain lake and wanna get a few shots. Um, it's gonna carry, I got three lenses in here and a camera and I've got my drone up on the top. I got all the stuff with me that I want. The problem with large backpacks, which I own, is that I'll tend to bring too much and then I'm hiking uh, with too much weight. So small backpack, it's gonna fit exactly what I need in there. But here's what I love. I love the dual entry. So I can enter from the left side and I can enter from the right side to get to my camera, get to my lenses. So this is really nice because there's a lot of times my bag, I need to set it down on its side so it's not falling over for whatever reason. The other thing that I really am impressed with this bag is the padding. And what do I mean? It's not the back padding. The back padding's wonderful. Low Pro always makes comfortable bags. But a lot of, of backpacks today, when you open them up, the sides, they're just kind of canvassy and they feel like there's like, you know, this like an eighth inch thick foam that's in there. This is a big, dense, thick padding, even on the sides, on the bottom front and back everything every part of this bag is extra padded so that when i'm bumping into stuff whether i'm in a city and i'm riding the subway and i'm bumping against metal objects i'm protecting my gear or whether i'm in the mountains because there's a lot of times i'll set stuff down it'll take a tumble i know that my gear is going to be safe so those are some of the things that i really love and then the other part of it is is low pro has gone to this slide lock system i'm not sure what they're calling it but instead of these being buckles they actually have these locking mechanisms this is great because when i'm on a hike when i'm somewhere that i want my gear to stay put i don't want to lock it down with plastic buckles i've got aluminum slides that i can clip on and it's going to hold my gear in place so that's another thing that i love about it and the bottom check this out this bottom has got this extra ridge uh, of padding on the bottom this is because we're always setting our gear on top of things and, and that's going to be the weak point as far as protecting our gear they have really padded that up so this backpack if you're looking for a day pack you're looking kind of that everyday type of backpack that you're just going to use you know for your uh you're going to go out on the street and try to find some things to take a picture of you're just going to take a walk this is a great size backpack you're not going to overload it it still has plenty of room dual entry and I think it's a fabulous pack. So here's a really cool thing about this backpack is we all hike with our phones now because we get our equipment in the back. So what we're doing is we're taking a lot of pictures with our cell phone. It's got a great little pocket right here on the shoulder strap that I can actually put my camera right in here. What a great feature that this is and I can strap it down to where it's nice and secure and I have my phone right where I can get to it. Well, all in all, I am loving the backpack. Uh, the sky is closing in on me right now. It looks like it's gonna rain at any minute, so I'm gonna grab the uh, cover for it. Now, this says that this material here is uh, weatherproof and it's got waterproof zippers, but I think that's gonna be good if you're just, you know, dodging raindrops from spot to spot. But I got it like an hour to walk back and it looks like it might start raining, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. I just love the idea of just being a little safer with my gear. Um, I'm glad they put this in here. So one of the other things quickly before I go is that I looked it up on my phone before I left and I saw places like B&A, Tatarama. They've got this backpack right now for right around 250, 260 bucks. 
I think if you buy it right now, it even comes with a Joby Gorilla Pod that they're giving away free. Um, so it's a, a great value. Um, but one of the things I want to tell you is that if you're looking to buy a backpack, buy it from a reputable uh, dealer. So go to your camera store, hit one of the big online retailers. Uh, be very careful if the price seems too good. There's a lot of these uh, low pro bags out there that are knockoffs. <laughs> You might be thinking, I, how am I gonna tell if it's a knockoff? The quality goes way down on the knockoff brands. I've actually seen them. The dividers inside are puffy and they're, they're, they just don't protect your gear. The zippers and the stitching, they don't hold up. So make sure you're buying from a reputable dealer. So all in all, hey, if you're looking for a great bag to use every day, I will highly recommend any low pro bag but i'm going to recommend this uh freeline bp one or 350 um it's a fabulous bag you can't go wrong